all right hi loves and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so we're gonna make this video as quick as possible as quick as possible and please do not pay my nails any mind they need to be done i know that so today's video is just gonna be about my stampers and my stamping plates that i have collected um most of these are from ebay and then these ones are from clear jelly stampers but we'll get into that later and all of my most of all of my stamping plates except for these ones came into these um i call them sleeves they're just like they were in here like that and they have their own little code or numbers so i just wanted to show you that these are what they came in they came in but i took all of them out because i have them in the case so i just wanted to show you that before we get started these are what they come in and they come with a little blue film on them you have to tear that off to use it if you don't it's not gonna work out too well for you or at all but yeah let's just get straight into the video all right so we can just start it off with the um stampers and the scrapers so these are the scrapers they normally come um in a set but this normally but sometimes you don't get it this, this one is my favorite one to use but it is flimsy as hell and that can get on my nerves and then this one it is strong but it's too small so if you have like an old credit card or gift card that you're not using, that could be good too. That'd probably be the best option. So yeah, these are the arm um, scrapers. And basically what you do is get these stamping polishes here. I have a video up with all the stamping polishes I have. If you want to go check it out, I'll put it in the cards somewhere up there. But yeah, I use those and I paint. Take off the blue film, remember. I paint on, use this, scrape it off, use the stamper to roll and pick up my design and i roll it onto the finger that is how you use them so yeah my favorite stamps is this one i love this one because it is big and you can see what you're doing look like you can see when you put the design on it it's very clear and it's a lot of space you could do good for longer nails so i love this one these two are nice too well this one is nice too it's the same thing you can see everything but this one is small i use these for smaller designs but let me show you something you see how cracked up that is yeah be very careful this is what happened when you got kids in your room that's what happened but that's all right because i'm gonna get a new one anyway and this one is a double-sided one which is cute but function wise it don't make no sense because i can't see through it when i'm stamping because of the other stampers here and even i would have to take this off and take this out so i can see through it better and that's just too much work and these get messed up real easy so nail dust and stuff like that uh it gets on it and you have to wipe it off with alcohol so i don't really use this one like that and then these two i think these two are my absolute favorite well second favorite to the bigger one because you can see right through it doesn't have a back like this is a jelly thing so i literally just stamp on with this one i actually love these two and i use them the most surprising why i got two <laughs> but yeah i love these and then this one. This one is for decoration purpose only. I do not recommend you buy this for function use. It's annoying. Um, first of all, acetone. Do not make acetone get on these because, as you can see, acetone got on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's matted and you can't see through. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Don't waste your time. And then the cover got stuck because the acetone got in here too and melted the cover to the thing. So, it has an extra head, which I wouldn't even use because it's not clear. So, you can't see where you're placing the, the design properly. And that can be quite annoying, I imagine. And then it has this clear head, which I love. I, but I would, this, this is just a headache. It's cute. It's cute. But it, it looks, it's a headache. Um, yeah, you can't see what you're doing. You have to turn it sideways to see. And you still can't see clear enough like exactly where your print is going until it actually touches your nail and by then it's too late it's too late so this one is cute to have but i'm gonna just go through my stamping plates and show you what i have because they're super gorgeous let me see if i can fix this ring like hold on all of them have a little number or a little code you can actually type this in on ebay um and find it probably put like stamping plate and then put this little code and the same exact stamping plate should pop up. I'm pretty sure it should. Now this one is so cute. It's like birds and dogs and little kittens. Like it's so cute. And then this is the next one. 
definitely a lace theme and I love it. This one is actually my favorite one and I've used this a couple of times on clients. If I have pictures, I'll put it up on the screen. But I love these. Um, this one I I think I've used, well, clearly I've used this. I can't remember. I think I used this one too, but I can't remember. But this one is real cute. It's off with some I use acetone even though they say you shouldn't because I think it'll like mess up the gray part of the design, the design. But I use acetone because it's faster, but I think you're supposed to use nail polish remover. But I, I ain't gonna time for that. I ain't got, I really don't. But yeah, this is the next one. This is a marble type scene, good for layering marbles. I love this one. I think this was the one that I used in my video. I love it and this one is a flame fire birdie I don't know what you would call it. I can't remember what you call them right now but this one is cute for the most part I have never used it but I use it on clients not my cup of tea this one I use this on my cousin for her little girl she put them on her nails so her little girl can see see it it was so cute I think this was one of the off brands from um one. Yeah, I actually see the number there. So all you got to do is go to eBay and type in stamping place and put that little number there and it should pop up. And that one was unicorns and cupcakes and I love this little book spell thing. I hope I use this one day and this bird in the cage is so cute. So that and then we got this is like a Valentine's Day one. This is cute. Oh, I love this. This I love. I did this on a yellow set here too on my channel. And I think this and this. <laughs> I love this. And my favorite one of all time because I love these pineapples. I love these leaves. I love these trees. Like, I think I want to do like a sunset set <laughs> and then do like the this stamping design right here all over the nails. Like, I think that would be so cute. And the, this one. This one's like roses and lips and lines and I love this. I would do this like background with some green tropical leaves over it. But like the whole branch type thing. I think that would look good. But yeah. That's the number for that one. Um, these are just some triangles and pattern looking one. I think these. And uh, these are some hearts and roses. I think this is another Valentine's Day one theme. I love this right here. Some more roses. This is actually, yeah, I use this one. This one is my favorite. If you can see that, I hope you can see that. But it's messed up with black polish. But that's alright. And then this one. I haven't really used this one yet, have I? Nope, that's a lie. I use this one right here. Hugs and Kisses. I use that one. But other than that, I haven't really used this um, stamping plate. But that's a number right there. Do the small ones. These ones are super cute. But I don't use them that much. I haven't really used this one at all. But again, with the cooking the trees and the little starfish. I think this is cute. I want to use that in the set. And then this one is the one I use the most. These diamonds and these lips. Oh yeah, they're, they're everybody's favorite. Like That right there is about the only two things that I've used off of this. Literally. You can see it's kind of messed up. That's all I use. So, this one is my one of the favorites. 
Did I show you the number for this one? This is the number for that one. This is the number. And then this is the number for this one. And this one is also one that I love because it has the little words on it and it's so cute. I love this one. I've used the words before I think. This one I haven't even opened it yet because I thought it was so beautiful but I don't know what to do with it so I'll figure it out when I get there. This one either. This is like a mermaid scale type thing is what it reminds me of. This one is one of my favorites. This one is a butterfly favorite of all time. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with butterflies low key. This is a cute one. Oh. And then this one I love this too. I love to like run use like three of these at a time and like run it up the nail like if I have a really long nail I like put them like up the nail so this one is comes in handy I think I used the girl like once and the lips no this one right here I use this on a set on my channel too is purple on my sister so yeah and then this, I have not used this yet. I like this. Nice to meet you. I love the pen. It says, miss you, psych. <laughs> uh, beauty is but skin deep. I didn't even see that. That is gorgeous. Beauty is but skin deep. That's cute. Yeah. and then the last three that I have are these ones and these are from a brand called let me see All right. called clear jelly stampers and if I'm not mistaken they're maybe the originators of these I'm not too sure don't quote me on that but I think so but yeah I love their brand I definitely got to get some more but I was obsessed with these letter ones for like three years straight. And then I saw this. They had a, they came out with this set where you could get all of them. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? Come again? And I finally got my cards. I was like, I'm ordering it. I'm ordering it. And that's what I did. So these are how they look. And I don't know if they still sell them in the um, set, but... I bought them. Love these. I absolutely love these. I've done a couple of sets with um, this one. I actually haven't opened the other two yet. But see, this one I'm talking about. You got to take off the blue film, film when you are going to use it because it um, exposes the engravements. So you can get the polish in there, scrape it off, and lift it up. But this one I use a lot, and it's my favorite. And I guess it's everybody else's favorite too. Because it got a lot of cursive. This one is just regular letters. And then this one is a little bit of cursive. A little bit of regular. In between. But yeah. Just go on Bali Stamper website. Where is it? And I think you can type in like the alphabet stamping place. And it should come up. But I love these and I'm definitely going to get some more from their brand because they're really good. Now, because one thing I must say about these, sometimes the letter can be very hard to pick up because they're so thin, especially the really thin small ones. Sometimes when I pick them up, they they don't come out right and I got to do it about three, four, five times. But when they do come out, they're gorgeous. So, but because there are such small details, especially the little thin ones, yeah, so I normally go for like the bigger ones like this right here and stuff like that because these little, the, and them little small ones, it can't date. Girl, they have you there all day trying to pick them up. But yeah, so last thing is I got this case from Amazon and it's so beautiful. Do you see the shimmer? 
like it is so gorgeous and it has two sides to it it has um a big side where i can put all of these plates all of these plates in here like this and i normally put them like this I don't, e, sorry. I don't really put them in any order or anything. I just do what I want to do. I just put them in there. Cause anybody got time for that? Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. Like so, like that, like that, like so. And I got another one. So, yeah, that's all I have for the big ones. And these ones, I just put it in the back here because they're too big to go into the slots. So, normally, I just keep them right there. And I can zip that side up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So I can zip that side up. Open this side. And put all of my small buddies right in here. I love this case. It's so beautiful and it holds so much. And I got space to grow with these and add more. So I'm super excited to add to my collection, but I'm just taking my time and trying to find something that like truly catch my eye instead of just buying stuff that I'm not going to use because ain't nobody got time to be wasting money. Really don't, really don't. Put this one right here. But yeah, and they're double sided too, so I can put in the back here, but I just like to put them on a separate page so I won't have to. I don't know. I just, I just like to. So yeah. And then got two. As I said, got two sides, two golden glib, um things. It's, it's super pretty, super neat. Kind of heavy, but what do you expect? But I love this case. I will definitely link it below because I got it from Amazon. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, see you.